doing a toe touch. Don't even ask. I know what you guys are doing. No way. No way. Oh, you guys. It, no, I, it ain't happening. No, it ain't. It is not. Zero percent chance. You guys. It's not happening for sure. You guys, come on, man. We, you guys. I, I, I'm telling you. I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing a toe touch. I did it at a regional one time, and my pants ripped. You got, <laughs> he was there. And uh, I'm just going to put it at last. And I'll put it to you like this. <laughs> it was not at the, <laughs> it was not at the end. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it there, OK? I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, because I could go a little deeper, and you'd be like, oh, man. <laughs> I didn't know who Commando. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, <laughs> I should have left. Remember I told you I was going to leave it there? I didn't leave it there. I like this group because we're leaders. Like, we got leaders here <laughs> so I can have fun. Because usually every time before I do <laughs> training, Isaac will give me a lecture and Betty will give me a lecture like, contain yourself. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, this, this is great. As soon as they told me we're going to have leaders only at this leadership, you know, this leadership peak event, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. so I get to have fun. So it's going to be, <laughs> man, I, I'm so fired up right now. This, this, this is over the top. This is over the top. I'm like, can you guys stop making it so good? I'm like, that when he said triple, I didn't even feel good. My stomach started hurting. <laughs> I'm like, what? Triple? Come on now. Oh, man, I got excited. Get I can't, wait till you hear what Zach's about to tell you. We, <laughs> I, get, uh, I get scared. Every time I leave and my wife doesn't come with me, she gives me a lecture. She says, if there is a riot and you guys start flipping cars and, you know, like, you know, like the Lakers won the championship or something, I'm going to know it was you. You better, <laughs> you better not get people too pumped up. So I'm like. Whoo, man, Zach's going to, when you hear what Zach's going to tell you, I was peeking. I, I was backstage peeking at the trainings coming up, and I'm like, what? I saw Craig Holiday's training. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you, the, you are in for the treat of all time. But here's what I want to let you guys know before I dive into this is this is too, you know how, like, it's, it's like, it really, you know, like, it's too good. Like, it's really it is really too good. Like, when I say it's really too good, it is real. Like, they need to, can they, whenever they show me this, I'm like, what? Are you guys kidding me? This, is this bulletproof? Are you kidding me? And you get one of these free, if you get one of those event packages? This is, and you guys are allowed to get it at 10 p.m. Registration closes, and after that, you, no one's going to be able to get them anymore. And I, I saw somebody who came up to me afterwards. They're like, hey, I, I, I got one for somebody back home. They said it's only for people here. Am I going to get in trouble? I'm like, no, you're not going to get in trouble. It's designed for people that are here. So don't be trying to sneak people in, but if you have a couple people, you guys get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we got leaders here. All I'm saying, though, all I'm saying is, look, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch out because Isaac is tough. You guys got to know that. He might come out like, boom, and tackle me. So I'm going to stop there. So, so we're going to get down to this. I am blown away, though, by this booklet. Good God. When I saw that, I was, and I smelt it. Whenever John, I'm sitting next to Isaac right here, I'm like, damn, this smells good. What? This smells brand new. You guys, this is ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. So I, I didn't come here to <laughs> I didn't come here to entertain you guys. I actually have probably, in my, in my opinion, uh, a, a, a huge responsibility because if I share this information properly, you're gonna come out of here a different person. So it's like, whoa. So I'm fired up about this training. I'm gonna real quickly 
just so you know why I'm so excited, I'm going to share with you guys my background. Because some people, I know a lot of you are taking me in for the first time. You're like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and if my wife was here, she would tell you a lot. <laughs> so a lot. <laughs> Everybody on the cruise is like, yeah, she did she threw you under the bus the whole time. <laughs> but no, you guys, I, I, here's what I share with you guys. Is this, though, seriously, it, if you coming, growing up the way that I did, you guys, I grew up really poor. You guys see, like, my dad ran away from home when I was a little kid. My mom had no source of income, so we grew up really poor. You know, we grew up on welfare and government programs. And, you know, on Wednesday, I was doing an event in California. And I told everybody, I was like, look, right down the street from here at that hotel, or it's really a motel called the Key Inn. I used to live in the Key Inn growing up as a kid. It's like a little, you know, shack, like not a very nice hotel. And I go, look, you know, if you were to come from where I came from and to have the opportunity, it's, it's a blow, it blows my mind away. You know, I'm a firm believer in like focus in, you know, we had a leadership meeting, a diamond meeting, you know, yesterday. I was like, look, you guys, come on, man. This is ridiculous. Like, this is too, this is too good. This is, you know, and it's about having that attitude of gratitude. Do you guys get what I'm saying? And, and looking at, and you look at the leaders, and you look at what we have here, and what my ma mindset is this. Like, look, people always say, like, dude, you're always positive, and you've always got good things to say about everybody. What's wrong with you? It's like, look, <laughs> you see people the way that you see yourself. Do you follow? You see others the way that you see yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, uh, you know, you're going to see in others what you see in yourself. So it's kind of like, how do you view other people? And I can find out how, what your self-esteem looks like just by having a conversation with you. Do you guys get it? And I just kind of listen to people, and I think, wow, you know what? The people, if you focus in on good, good's going to be attracted in your life. And that's not what my training topic's about. I'm just letting you guys know right now, you have a chance of a lifetime right now. This 90 to Ignite, this right here is it. I, don't, I know some of you haven't wrapped your brain around it yet, and I'm praying that you do. Because if you turn your organization into a, 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 a sponsor machine, and I know everybody's like, dang, I'm going to get my 20. Of course, you're going to get your 20. You're a leader. Do you guys get it? Like, you're here. You know, the, the, the people that aren't here, you understand, you've got to make sure that you get fired up about their successes. Because if you want to get one of those giant bonuses, like the, tr what the heck? It's ridiculous. Triple bonuses? Here's the thing about it. Your desire to want to have that, you have to instill that into other people just to get their five. Meaning what? If I can get you fired up to get your five people and get you inspired, if you're not you guys, I'm talking about if I'm, a, if I'm working with a brand new person and I can get them fired up out of their mind to get five people and I can build that desire and I can build that emotion, okay? If I can build it to this, that's where my emotion's got to be for me to get the bonus that I want. You understand? If you want to get like, like these giant bonuses that they have the triple, What? You, you have that, like, this is the bonus you want. Let's say that this is your desire. You can't, if you have a desire this big, you can't be promoting down here. And be like, oh, yeah, get your five, whatever. <sighs> Anyways, let me just talk about something else. Let me talk about what I want. No one cares what you want. They, want they, they care what they want. And you can't promote what you want to them. You have to promote what they need to be promoted to. Do you understand? Yeah. Somebody's like, well, you know, anybody can get 20. Yeah, but you cannot get 20 unless you first get five. Yeah. Did you guys get that? Just so you know how math works. I, <laughs> John was talking about how good I am at math. You know, it's like <laughs> some of this stuff I learned in kindergarten. You guys get it? So, <laughs> so I'm pumped about this. And, and, and I know that I've danced around a lot. But I want you to understand that if you can understand how to promote this and get everyone whipped into a frenzy, people always say, like, Tim's, like, really good at promoting. What's up with that? It's because I really get fired up. Do you guys get it? Yeah. If you are from where I started... And someone's like, damn, I wasn't homeless like you. Can I still be successful? Yes. Do you guys get that? You don't have to be homeless. Like, somebody's like, damn. Oh, my God. I grew up in a house with a pool. This is ridiculous. I don't have a chance. <laughs> I went to college, you know. Oh, I'm smart. Darn it. <laughs> I didn't, you guys got to realize, I didn't graduate high school. I didn't let them go, let them go to college. Do you guys get what I mean? I'm not a smart guy. I'm not supposed to be here. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, that's, the, that's what I want you to understand, is it, it shouldn't have happened. If you would have saw me on day one, I should have brought the picture, you know, but I used to have hair down on my shoulders, put it back in a ponytail, have my tank top on when I came to my first event. I'm not supposed to be here. Meaning what? Meaning that a guy like me shouldn't have had success. There was no reason for me to make it. But see, when I got started in this business, I said to myself, 
if they can do it, I can do it. I didn't make an excuse. It was like, of course, if they can do something, I can do it too. Our mindset's got to be, guess what? An understanding and awareness, there is no prodigies. There's no like, hey, I found this perfect person. Every person's perfect. I don't know if you guys know how the brain works, but it's like anybody can learn anything if you're willing to put the time into it. You guys see it? So we've got to focus in right now so we can understand how to make this thing happen. So I'm going to dive into this training right now because I'm so pumped right now. I'm so, I'm listening to this night. I want to, I I mean, geez. Joe said don't be weird. So I'm like, I want to throw a chair, but I know Joe said not to, so I'm just going to contain it. (laughs) Do you guys get what I'm saying? Because I want to, right? I want to. I'm so excited because if we whip everybody into a frenzy, guess what's going to happen? Do you guys get it? That and ha- somebody goes, well, how do I motivate my people? Uh, it's pretty easy. Excitement, enthusiasm is caught, not taught. So you don't teach someone how to get fired up. You just do what Josh said, 95 with, tech, you know, with Tecron, right? Light yourself on fire. Do you guys get it? Do you guys see that? So here's what I'm going to share with you right now. I'm so pumped about this because right now, if you can wrap your head around this training right here, you're going to have, some of you are going to have a, 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 what we call a paradigm shift. And like, what's up with these big words, dude? Here's what I'll share with you guys that means, right? It, it, seeing something one way and then completely seeing it a different way. Do you guys see it? So we're going to, some of you right now, the way that you see how to build this organization, a light bulb is going to literally go bing on some of your heads today right now. So I'm going to dive into this training. I danced around uh, for a while. Here's the deal. I know some of you guys are like, look, you know what? I don't know much about gardening. I don't know. I came here to learn about direct sales and how to build a network marketing organization and become successful in secret and become wealthy. How do I make a fortune in secret? How does that have anything to do with gardening? What? A lot to do with it, kind of. So (laughs) here's what it is, is you have to understand what a taproot is. Taprooting. Like, what? A taproot, okay? This is what I'm going to share with you, some facts about taprooting, okay, for for your notes is a taproot system, guess what, is the largest, most central, and most dominant root which which other roots grow laterally from. So you look at some, now there's different, there's fibrous roots too, that's like grass, and you can pull grass up real easy, you understand? But a big root like this, this is the key. So when you're building your organization, you want to build what we call a taproot, okay? Typically a a taproot will grow directly down. Do you guys see that? Another fact about taproots is this, taproots are hard to uproot, this is key. This is how you build a residual income, okay? You do what? You develop a taproot because taproots are, the, are hard to uproot. And if the taproot breaks, guess what? The part that stays in the ground often will be able to re-sprout. So how do you build residual income? How do you build this? You know, you get involved in, 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 you know, in, in secret and you're like pumped out of your mind about what's available to you. You're like, oh man, look at what's available to me. All this, you know, wealth and abundance and time freedom. This is a no-brainer. And then you start building and you're like, wait a second, you know, at the beginning you're putting in more effort and then you're seeing less results because it's, your organization's kind of small. But as you build that taproot, your organization will multiply like, guess what? Rabbits on Viagra. Do you guys get that? <laughs> I heard some of the other stuff that was said. I was like, hey, you know, this stuff's fine. <laughs> I, can- <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I was listening to some people's training. I said, I don't know if that's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. I hope we can have fun. Because I'm like six exits past fun. Do you guys see? So, so here it is. This is beautiful. And I know Josh Jenny's going to love this because <laughs> he actually made this. <laughs> so watch this. Urgency is everything, okay? Secret is easier to build fast than it is to build slow. Okay? You're, what, you're, what you're trying to do is you're, trying to, you're focusing on driving. When you sponsor a new person, you're looking to build that organization, seven levels in seven days. Yeah. You guys see that urgency? It's, it's easier to do fast than it is to do slow because you get momentum going. So when you get someone started, you got to be thinking, I've got to anchor this person in. So I'm going to drive that group seven levels in seven days. So you get someone started in the business, and you, what I do is I explain to people, you know, how it works. If this is you, and then you have everyone's got a sponsor. So I sit down and say, look, if I sponsor you in the business, you know, you want to get started now. You don't want to wait. Okay, waiting is not the, you know, the key to success. You guys, I mean, it's a kind of a no-brainer. So what happens is your sponsor is going to be building an organization. Everybody knows this, right? Okay, so you got to realize if I'm sitting down with a brand new person, I'm explaining this to them, okay? If I sponsor you, I'm going to be building two lines. Do you guys see how that works? I'm building a left and a right. And I'm going to be sponsoring people like crazy, but if you get in now, okay, 
if we, get to, if we, if we sneak your application in now, you're going to be placed right here. Okay? And the next person I bring in is either going to be on this side or this side. So what happens is this. You, you, you're going to start to build this organization. And what happens is in your support team, right, your uplines, they're going to start putting in people. And this organization is going to start growing under you if you get started now. You've got to get started now. You don't want to waste time. Because if you don't get started now, then guess what's going to happen? Okay? If you're like, well, you know what? I, I kind of want to sit on it or think about it or whatever. You're going to end up, guess what? Whoops, I got too pumped. You're going to end up down there. Do you guys see that? So where do you want to be? Do you guys see it? So you're painting that picture of urgency. I love painting that picture because guess what? We've got to have that. Just like Kai talked about, we have to have a sense of urgency. We can't live our life by just kind of like, oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to stroll through life. It's like, what? We don't have a lot of time. We're trying to create generational wealth, right? We're trying to create a, a, a wealthy community. So we got to make sure that we take action right now. Huh, like Josh was talking about earlier. Take action now. So you guys understand this. Now, number three for your notes, or, excuse me, number, here's what you gotta realize. You gotta realize, you wanna, you wanna duplicate, don't complicate. You guys see that? Okay, duplicate, don't complicate, right? What does that mean? Simplicity is the key. You wanna just copy and guess what? Paste. That's the key. Copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Keep this business simple. The most important thing to take a look at is the facts are this. When a brand new agent gets started, Okay, on your team, because there's going to be an overwhelming amount of people getting started on your team now. Why? Because of the Operation 90. Okay, this thing's going to grow so fast right now. Okay, you're going to be like, whoa, this is amazing. So here's what we have to look at. I'm so pumped. This right here is the key. Focus in on, guess what? The blueprint. Why? Don't, you're, don't, they, some people are like, they try to get creative. Oh man, you know, I've got to, you know, I've got, you know, dude, stop being creative. Work the system. You're not trying to change the system. You guys ever seen a wheel before? Yep. The wheel hasn't changed for a while. Would you guys agree with that? <laughs> we don't need to modify a wheel. Like, oh, I got this new invention. No, that's a square, dude. A wheel <laughs> is round for a reason. Do you guys see it? So we want to use the blueprints. This is the key. When a brand new agent gets started, you cannot be a courteous waiter and become successful. What is a courteous waiter? Oh, you know, here's the blueprint. Just fill this out later. Oh, we have these webinars, and, you know, you can just find out about that later. We have this, you know, we have all this great system, but I'll just talk about that later. I'm just excited that you joined. See you later. It's like, what? No. I have an obligation. I have a responsibility. I've got to take this person to the top. So what do we got to do? Right away. The first, yeah, the, right away, we're launching that agent, okay? And we're going to, and I, I'm going to say this to you guys. Hopefully this isn't, like, too strong for you guys, but you guys are all leaders, so I'm not worried about it. You want to attack a center of influence, do you guys get that? You want to attack a center of influence. Right when someone gets in, you want to attack that center of influence, and you want to tap that organization seven levels in seven days, straight down on the left, straight down on the right. That's what you're doing, okay? And it doesn't mean that that person, I sign up a brand new person, boom. I'll show you guys this in a second. So here it is, number, number three for your notes. Follow the proven plan, okay? Follow the proven plan. If you're too big to do the little things, guess what? You're going to be too, become too small to be able to achieve anything. So we got to focus in on what it takes to win, okay? What it takes to win. I know some of you guys are like, damn, it's really hot in here. Don't worry about that, okay? You just got to focus in on this right now, okay? Here's what you got to realize. The proven plan is the key to becoming successful, okay? The proven plan is the key to becoming successful. Focus in and help everybody launch their business right whenever they get started. Don't try to overcomplicate it. You got to sit down with them and help them do this. Don't be like, oh, yeah, well, they're, 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 they're an independent agent. What? They're brand new. Huh. You got you to gotta do this stuff for them at the beginning because whatever you do duplicates. So you're showing them how to make this happen, okay? So obviously, number four for your notes is this ego versus paycheck. What I do, you guys, is I just promote the system, okay? The last thing you want to do is this, and make everything the issue but yourself. Make everything the issue but yourself. Point to the system. That's all I do. Right when someone gets started, I'm like, let me show this training. And I'll log in to the back office, and I'll show them a training. I'd be like, look at this. Is this amazing? Do you guys see what I do? Yeah. And I'm sitting there going, oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm, I'm, like I'm like an assistant viewer. Like, they're here, and I'm like, oh, that's so good. Oh, did you catch that? You guys see that? And, I'll, and I'm, you've got to be a good finder. I'll jump on the, on the vision cast, and then right afterwards, I'll call my brand new person and be like, I want to compare notes. What did you get out of it? Right? And I'll tell them, hey, after we're done, let's compare notes. Okay? And I'm going to see, maybe you learned something that I didn't learn. So then afterwards, I'm going, do you see what I do? I'm over the top. 
Someone goes, well, you know, I just, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of lazy about it. I'm like a deja go or whatever it's called. It's like, do, what? What? Come on now. You, if you're urgent and excited about stuff, then guess what happens? They're going to become excited too. We didn't even have vision cast when I got involved in this industry. Do you guys get that? We didn't even have computers. We didn't have internet. You guys, <laughs> we had pagers. You guys get what I'm saying? I'm going to beep you. Do you guys get It's like, this is too easy now. I'm like, what? <laughs> I want to br break out like some homing pigeons or something to make it a little bit more difficult, you know? Can we put some messages in a bottle? This is too easy now. <laughs> Guys, this is too amazing. Whew. Wow, I'm getting excited. So make everything the issue but yourself. Now check this out. You're going to love this one. I love this one. Be a lifter, not a leaner, okay? Leaners hope for spillover, okay? Leaders create spillover. Don't be a leaner. You're like, I wish someone would just give me somebody. It's like, What? Give you somebody? Come on now. You want to be a leader, not a person that's waiting. Do you guys see it? It's like, that's silly. Every time you see someone that cranks it, it makes it happen, what is the common thread? Is there, you know, they don't have any spillover. So they're forced to become successful. Do you guys get it? Don't be waiting for a gift. Can you imagine, like, that's your plan for success? I'm just going to walk around outside and hopefully just bags of money start falling out of the sky. Not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can wait for it. Maybe it might happen. Just all of a sudden, boom, you know. But I wouldn't count on it. This is our life. It's not a dress rehearsal. This isn't a scrimmage. We probably shouldn't just wait around for something great to happen. We might as well just create stuff. You guys get it? Yep. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. This is so beautiful. you got you got to create spillover. Don't wait for it. Some people are like, well, you know, so-and-so did it. It's like, what? what? That, oh, my God. They got I'm not in your family. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> what? Because it's so embarrassing. Like, dude, like, you, you know what I mean? Like, some people are like that, though. You know what I mean? Like, when I grew up, I was poor, right? I had one pair of clothes that I wore every day. Before we lived in the Kean, we lived in the back of a pickup truck. No one's like, dude, that new homeless kid is cool. <laughs> Do you guys get what I mean? So, like, I wasn't like, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. I get free lunch. I was like, heck, I get free lunch, dude. This is the only meal I got. So I'm loading it up. I'd be getting, I'm going to get a salad and just get a big old thing of taco meat because I'm like, beef, you know what I mean? You guys think I'm joking. I'm not playing games. This is the truth. So be grateful. If you're grateful, you'll receive more. If you have some weird attitude, you won't. You guys get it? This is the truth. This is the, tr this is the way life works, you know, like, do you just see that so-and-so, you know, has got like this, you know, diddly dilly do? It's like, I don't know anything about that. Here's what I do know is this. Tag your it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what we're doing. <laughs> you want to learn how to become wealthy? Play tag. Do you guys see that? Go, go to, go to a, that's what I do, right? I take my son to like the park and be like watching him play tag. I'm like, dude, this is it right here. This, you're going to crush it in the house. You know what I mean? I go, I can't wait to get this guy to secret. He's eight, right? But he's like playing tag like a maniac. But some people, how do they play tag? Oh, this, I just try to get somebody, and I, they're too fast. I'm just going to sit over here and whine. It's like, what? I coach little kids' sports, right? And I'm like, dude, you're crying right now? Crying ain't going to help us right now, OK? <laughs> like, dude, are you serious? We can't be crying right now, bro. I'm like, can you somebody talk to this little kid? I want to run the ball. What? You want to run the ball, then guess what you need to do? You need to work out, dude. <laughs> this ain't like, I'm, you guys laugh, right? I tell you, the first year I coached my son in football, don't worry about this. I know what time I got, so I'll, I'll make sure I hit my time marks. Don't worry. Because I can start talking really fast. You'll be like, dang, those are just got to slow down. I'm talking really fast. But here's what I'll tell you. <laughs> my son, I started coaching him. He was like, he was like five, I think. When he, yeah, five when I first started coaching him in football. My, my youngest, my oldest one was eight. Eight when I first, no, seven when I first started coaching him. He's 16 now, but my little dude was five. And I never gave him the ball the entire season. And he came to me, he's like, he's like, Dad, how come you just give the ball to Kai all the time? I'm like, because Kai's better than you, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see that? I go, I go, giving you the ball, Timmy, would be like throwing the ball on the ground. <laughs> you guys think I'm joking. I'm not. That's what I told him. 
but yeah, I didn't leave them there. So don't, I'm not, someone's like, damn, dude, this guy's mean. <laughs> no, it's called being honest. Do you guys see that? But I didn't leave them there. I said, look, but here's the deal, Timmy. I'll tell you this. If you want to get as good as Kai, all you got to do is do what Kai did. And what Kai did is work out. Do you guys see it? Works out a lot. I go, if you can, anybody can get fast. Anybody can do anything if they're willing to put the time into doing it. Some of you watch these people up here and you're like, oh my God, they're so good. I don't know if I'm ever going to be like that. Well, of course you're not with that attitude. <laughs> I hope I can be. They told me, they're like, go ahead. I'm like, all right. You want me to? I will. <laughs> I will. But here's the deal. So Tapperty, oh man, I'm, I'm pumped. So look at this. Oh God, I'm so glad they put this one in. <laughs> Success in network marketing, right? Success in secret is a series of impending events. Excitement is caught, not taught. Have a sense of urgency and a fear of loss. Adopt the get everyone started in, get everyone in now before pay period deadline. That's the mindset you need to have. I got to sneak everybody in before pay period deadline. Did you guys catch that? Yeah. Every day, okay, every, here's how I looked at it. When I got started in the secret, I looked at what, I'm like, okay, this thing, the, 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 the top pay that you're allowed to make every week is like 25000 a week. So I'm like, oh my God, like if you're not making 25000 a week, I felt like we're like, whenever my, I still have this mindset, right? No matter where I'm at, whenever we have milk in the house, if it's getting like close to the deadline, do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like, oh my God, we've got to take action. So I'll call a family meeting. <laughs> I'll call a family meeting. I'm like, Everybody get down here now. Look at what's going on, you guys. Don't make me. <laughs> Some of you know. Some of you, <laughs> I know this, I know Wisconsin knows. <laughs> huh, you guys saw. I ordered a bunch of pizzas the other night. <laughs> Michelle knows. I ordered a bunch of pizzas for everybody, and, like, we didn't do a very good job of eating. And I'm trying to motivate everybody to eat them. And then we started recruiting other people walking by that aren't even a part of Secret. Like, we're like, hey, man, you want some pizza? And we're, like, promoting it. And we got rid of all the pizza. But it's that mindset. <laughs> My mindset is like, oh, my God, we're going to waste it. Do you guys get it? So I have a mindset like, oh, my God, we're allowed to make $25,000 a week, and we don't. That week's going to be, that pay period's going to be over. Oh, my God, we have to hurry up so we can max out the, you know, make as much as you can. Right? It's like, don't waste any money. If you're, let's say that, like, you know, next week you make $5,000, but you're allowed to make twenty. you wasted that 20000 Shame on you. Do you guys get that? You have to max out the compensation plan. Like, and I know somebody's like, damn, dude, I don't have, what, that's, like, pretty big time. How do you max out the compensation plan? Exactly what Josh Wallace talked about. Turn your organization into a five sponsoring machine. And then what you do is you drive this tap root, okay? Now get ready for this. Slap, strap on your seatbelts. Watch this. This is what it's all about. Oh, God, I'm so glad this is here. Sponsor quick for profit, okay? So sponsor your 20. That's going to help you uh, get profit. Whenever someone gets started, you want to make sure that you get them started so they can win. How do you do that? You make sure that they get a, a pro I tell people like this. I don't tell people you have to get a pro pack. But what I say is like, look, would you want to make as much as you can, as fast as you can, as little as you can, for as long as you can? Obviously, you want to make as much. So you want to set yourself up for success. Can you still win if you don't get a pro pack? Can you still win if you don't get a special agent pack? Yes, but guess what? You're going to have a better success ratio. Why? Because you're going to be equipped with the products that are required for you to win. If you open up a gas station, what's the first thing that you want to get? If you open up a tire store, what's the first thing you want to get? If you open up a bicycle store, what's the first thing you're going to get? Well, welcome to the team. You're now on a skincare business. You think it'd be smarter or not smart, you know, to get some skincare products. Do you guys see it? So you get them a package and explain to them, look, this is the best package to get. That's why right now today, you guys, some of you guys right now don't have one of these kits yet. You guys see that? Come on now. This is the coolest thing on the planet. This, I, I don't know if it's bulletproof, but geez, it looks like it. <laughs> so we're going to turn this thing. So here's what you're doing. Your goal is to drive your outside left and your outside right 100 agents deep. Everybody help me out and say 100 agents deep. 100 That's the key. You're driving outside left and outside right 100 levels deep. That's the magic number. People always ask me, what's the magic number? 100. doesn't mean you sponsor 100 personally. I mean, you can do that too. Like, <laughs> Somebody sponsored like 1,500 people I heard about like today. That's like wild. Here's what you have to do. We have to sponsor. It means we can, but we're driving that outside left and outside right. As soon as someone gets started, WYPP, work your people's people. Do you guys see that? Get their list and help them get, you understand, help them launch somebody and get those people started too. And then you're going to and help them build that outside line and drive it deep. Do you guys get it? Drive that thing deep on your left, deep on your right. And you're going to build a taproot. You build a taproot organization, your life's going to change. Okay? Your, your neighbors are going to change. Do you guys see that? Everything's going to change. <laughs> you're like, damn. My, 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 neighbors, my neighbors change. So here's the deal. I'm going I'm to leave you guys with this, right? Right now is the time. 
you got to ask yourself right now, hey, look, you know what? How bad do I want to win? Yeah. How bad do I want to I want to achieve success? You have to ask yourself right now, right? Is what? Right? How bad do I want to make something happen special in my life? How bad do I want to make it happen? You're gonna light yourself on fire. You gotta light your soul, or you gotta be so fired up right now. Why? Because guess what? This is your chance. This is your time to do something great. This is your time to do something special. You got your hands on something great right now, but what are you going to do with it? Just because you're in the right place at the right time doesn't guarantee you financial freedom. Just being in the right place at the right time doesn't guarantee you financial success. You got to do something about it. And it's time right now to look in the mirror, okay? That's the key. Somebody goes, Tim, how do I become successful? The person that's sitting in your chair wearing your clothes thinking your thoughts, that's the most important person that you got to decide, hey, look, you know what? Now's the time. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to step up. I'm going to get the job done. I guarantee you I'm going to get that. I'm sponsoring that 20, but here's the deal. Everybody on my team, it's going to be non-negotiable, non-debatable. Everybody on my team is going to sponsor five. And it's not a matter of, guess what, them doing it. It's how fast they can do it so we can duplicate this thing right now like never before. So dig down deep right now. Look inside your heart and ask yourself right now, how bad do I want to win? How bad do I want to do something special? How bad do I want to do something great? How bad do I want to change my family tree forever? How bad do I want to make it happen? Here's the deal, you guys. If it is to be, have that mindset that says, guess what? If it is to be, it's up to me. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to get the job done. I'm going to accept responsibility. I'm going to step up. I'm going all out. I'm going to make it happen. Because here's what you got to know for sure, you guys. Life is like a flowing river. And as long as you stay busy, you, it looks great. But whenever a river stops flowing, guess what? All that trash goes to the top. And I can tell you right now, wherever you are or however you feel is because of your activity. If you want things to be better for you, you got to do better. And how you do better is by going all out. Lock arms right now. Make that commitment right now that says, man, you know what? I'm going to get the job done. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to step up. I'm going to win. I'm going all out. I'm fired up, you guys. I love you, Secret. Let's make it happen, you guys.